everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is going to be a fall style vlog. I'm going to do some fall shopping. I have a fall try on clothing haul right here. I'm going to try my best to bake a pie which I've never done before. We're going to challenge ourselves and just like have us like a fall day. Outside it is kind of overcast so it looks super like chilly and cold but it's really actually super hot and humid but we're going to go with it. See it's like all overcast and gray and kind of gloomy looking outside. So this video is actually going to be sponsored by Princess Polly. We're going to do a fall try on clothing haul just a quick one they sent me over some goodies and i'm really excited to show you because i feel like this is like a really good haul they're actually giving you guys 20 percent off if you use the code renee xo they also have free express shipping on all us orders over 50 and then they do have the option to do after pay which if you guys aren't familiar with you can just at checkout break down your payments into installments of four and then pay in payments rather than like paying all up front and then all of the clothes that i show you guys right now will also be linked in the description box if you want to shop them around. So I'm going to show you guys my first look that I'm actually obsessed with. I'm actually going to be wearing this today. I really, really like this look. This is just a basic black kind of ruffly skirt and I paired it with this top. It's kind of like a biker look. It looks super vintage because the gray is kind of like a washed out gray, which I'm really digging the look of. Kind of grungy in a way. Also paired it with this Princess Polly uh, necklace that I've had actually before so if I can find it I'll link it down below as well um, and then I just threw my hair in a pony but that's what I'm wearing today let me show you guys the other clothes that I got so I'm gonna show you guys the accessories first I got this bag that I'm actually gonna transfer my bag over to it's just like a black more fall look I have a baby bluish purse right now that's very summery and spring so I think like transitioning to this will be really cute I really like the like tassel here and it's long but you can also shorten it if you like so I'm gonna do that probably today I did get this double loop belt I think it's really cute and very fall these earrings I got they're so cute they're like hoops with like little pearls on the bottom that I think I'm actually gonna wear today if it matches I'll see if it looks good with the outfit that I'm wearing now and then we have these really cool combat style boots they're so cute definitely a statement piece here's another piece that I got so First is this plaid high-rise skirt, and then I paired it with this cropped oversized tee. It has like a really beautiful art piece on it. I really like this. It looks so nice. It actually looks really well paired with the skirt. I'm kind of digging it. So here's the third piece. This is actually a set. It comes with like these super comfortable cotton material shorts and then the top is really cute. You can wear it obviously with the shorts or just pair it with like some nice jeans or something but it's um, very long sleeved, super comfortable and thick material. It's almost like an ivory color. When you turn around I don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of laces into like a bow tie kind of situation like there's this little rope that you can tie on the bottom and it's an open back which I really 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 like so this is by far my favorite piece I am obsessed with this it is so cute they have like these bigger sized buttons here on the front some pockets this one is so so cute I feel like anytime you put this on it will just literally make a look. I also put on the earrings that I showed you guys earlier. I feel like they match. I don't know, but I'm wearing them because they're super cute. All the clothes will be linked in the description box. A huge shout out to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for all of the gorgeous clothes. I am going to have some coffee real quick with Noah because he just woke up from the dead. And then I think I'm gonna go holiday shopping. I wanna find some like fall decor that's not like Halloween, but not yet Christmas either. Like maybe some, I don't know, Thanksgiving stuff. I need some new candles too. I ran out of Bath and Body Works candles and I'm gonna go buy some candles. I have some coupons. So um, I'll catch up with the guys when I go shopping and let you guys know how that goes. It's leaving 
shopping. I got a few things. I ended up going to Kirkland's. We went to Bath and Body Works, Target, and Bed Bath and Beyond. But unfortunately, Kirkland's literally has only Christmas things. I did this for Halloween. I went in like mid-October for Halloween stuff and they had nothing left. They only had Christmas stuff. So I don't know why I thought that they were gonna have Thanksgiving things out. And I asked them, I'm like, for December 1st, like, are you guys gonna have Christmas stuff out? Because that's usually when I shop for Christmas. And they're like, probably very little. I'm like, what's the point? Like, I can't go shopping for Christmas before December. Like, I, that's a big no-no for me. That will just totally take away the holiday spirit once December is here and will mess with me. Target had, like, the best options for, like, the Thanksgiving stuff. It was limited again, but I found some things. I'm going to start with Bath and Body Works. I usually do, like, two to three candles a month. There's a specific month that I associate with a specific scent. October is more, like, pumpkin, apple vibes, and then November is more, like, cinnamon. And then there's specific candles that I get starting December, so, like, sweater weather winter fresh balsam those are all like winter candles for me like december i will not burn those unless it's december so these are the ones that i picked up that have a more cinnamony clovey scent for november because it's thanksgiving not christmas <laughs> um the first one that i picked up was spiced apple toddy this one is so cute the smell literally reminds me of like thanksgiving time it is so good. It's warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, cinnamon stick with essential oils. And then I picked up a more sweet one. This one is so cute. It is maple cinnamon pancake and look at the color of this. I love it. It is like almost a mauve purple, but it's so simplistic and so pretty. This is a more sweet scent. It literally smells like someone making pancakes. I probably will burn this like every single morning in November in my kitchen in the morning time. I'm very, very particular with my candles, <laughs> if you guys can't tell. So this one is warm maple syrup, fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Not just buttermilk, fluffy. Fresh ground cinnamon with essential oils. This one is so cute. I want to eat it up. It's going to make my whole house smell so yummy. So those are the two candles that I picked up for November. I did have some coupons, so I got like a free gift. I am obsessed with the gingham scent. I love the candle. It's like a new scent that they had this year. So I picked up the body lotion for this. It smells so good. It's like a sweeter scent. And then they had $3 soaps. So I picked up the Winter Citrus Wreath. This one smells really good, but I'm probably not gonna put this out until like December. <laughs> Cause again, it's a December scent. But this one is Balsam Wreath, Fresh Citrus and Forest Breeze. So this one smells more like Christmas trees. So that's not coming out just yet. And all of this was like 50 something dollars. And then I had the free gift for this and then I had a $10 off 30 so it ended up being like $23 for all of that which is crazy. Highly recommend anytime you go to Bath and Body Works like just google the promo codes if you don't already get the codes yourself and if you just mention it to the people in the front I'm sure they'll scan like a code or something for you so worst thing that they can say is sorry no and then you're like okay. But their candles are always on sale. So as for Target I am going to be baking a pie. That's going to be one of my fall things to do this year. I told myself I have to bake a pie. I've never done it before and I want to learn. So I picked up a pie dish because I didn't have one. This one is just like this red one. It's really pretty. They had like a navy blue, but I thought red was more like November. And then I picked up this kitchen towel, like farmhouse style kitchen towel. It's very simple, but not too like crazy. I found one that I really liked, but no, I was like, that's too grandma y. I'm like, but I am a grandma. And then I also picked up this really pretty thick knitted blanket. I love the burnt orange. It's super simple, nothing too crazy or gimmicky. So I picked it up for my couch. And then in terms of the pie, I picked up a pie server. And then I also picked up a whisk because I actually don't have a whisk. I usually whisk with like a fork and then i found these coasters i'm pretty sure this is like the magnolia one from like chip and joanna Gaines line but they just say thankful there's a white one an orange one like a mauve green and then a red one so very random these were on sale the bark thins no one i really like the um pretzel one the dark chocolate with pretzel but this one was dark chocolate pumpkin seed with sea salt so we're gonna try these bad boys out and then my favorite thing that i've always told myself i'm gonna buy but i never do is a serving tray so this is a uh magnolia one from the chip and joanna Gaines line 
and I really like this one because it's super hefty and I know that like if I buy this I'll never have to buy another one again. I really like the dark wooden look of this um, and I want to become a baker. I'm gonna put a pie in here. I'm gonna bake just like sweets but try to like keep it healthy. The pie today is not gonna be healthy but I bake like these really healthy cookies sometimes and I just want to have them out for like people to grab if they're ever over or anything like that or if I have any serving stuff like I don't know baked goods. <laughs> so yeah those are the pieces that I have. I'm so excited. I'm going to go put them out real quick. And then I'm going to do a fall tag with you guys. So um, way back in YouTube days, they had tags that I was like obsessed with. I loved those videos. And they're basically like seasonal tags, kind of like blog style questions about the season or the topic. And they're just like fun and cute. So I'm going to do that after I put all this stuff away and eat some food get something in my stomach and yeah I'm feeling really fall right now I feel so cozy I feel like I'm getting into the holiday spirit and like shopping around and all the smells and everyone's just being so happy it's just like I'm feeling like the holidays like I can feel them now I'm so excited getting real cozy everything's all around my apartment very festive for thanksgiving can't wait for christmas i really can't you guys i will literally turn into the biggest grandma i don't think you guys will even recognize me like christmas is my season i thrive in christmas i love christmas time i love the vibe i love everyone's energy Ugh, it's just such a great holiday i uh decided to try these out with you like I said, I've tried the pretzel dark chocolate ones, but I've never tried these pumpkin ones. All right, so let's try it. Mmm, yum. Mmm, they're roasted pumpkin seeds. Good. I'm still a bigger fan of the, the pretzel one. So I decided I wanted to do the fall tag. I love these tags. They're just so fun for me. They're so simple and cute and fun so i have um a we heart it like blog up i'll leave it linked down below as well as the questions if you guys can answer them that'd be really fun for me to like read through the comments with all of your like fall tag answers so let's start the first question is what do you look forward to the most about fall for me it's like the energy even though i'm in florida like i don't really get the fall weather as much like I don't get the change of the season so like whenever I see fall colors and like on like social media online puts me in such a cozy mindset I feel like everything kind of slows down the pace slows down people kind of enjoy your, each other's company a little bit more and reach out more during the holidays it's like the whole energy it's just like the word crisp to me is like what defines the energy like any morning that you wake up in the weather is just crisp and cool you just have this like energy about you it's like you want to get things done you're super cozy at the same time you appreciate things you're happy you like are just nice to people it's like all about family and loved ones it's just like a good energy and I feel like it's like the beginning of the whole holiday season so like obviously Halloween there's Thanksgiving there's like Christmas time it's just really fun and I think like everyone getting into the spirit of like what fall is and all the holidays it's just such a great energy for me that I just feed off of and I love. What are a few things on your bucket list this year? I definitely want to bake a pie. I wanted to carve pumpkins, which I already did with my friends. I mean, technically, I kind of like made my brother carve mine. I'm also um, going to be doing something a little bit different this year. I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving with my dad. I usually spend Thanksgiving with my mom's side of the family and we like rent a cabin in the mountains and stuff. But this year, everything going on with him, um, I decided it would be best to spend Thanksgiving with him. So that's going to be something new on my bucket list. And he one time, fun fact, he's like obsessed with Italy. He's not Italian. He's just been and he's obsessed with the Italian culture and the food and all that. When we were like younger, I remember the one Thanksgiving that I did spend with him. He made an Italian version of a Thanksgiving dinner and he did all Italian dishes and I was pissed off. I was like, this is not Thanksgiving. Like, where's the turkey? Like, he had fettuccine and pizza and like dough and bread. Like, it just was not my type of Thanksgiving. I talked to him this year though and I was like, we're doing like a traditional Thanksgiving. What is your favorite clothing trend that you've seen this season? I really am digging skirts with like 
combat boots. So again, I'm in Florida, so like the weather doesn't change that much. So when I see like fall clothes, I get kind of jealous because I'm like, I would love to wear that, but I can't because I'd be sweating bullets. Having the skirt option, it's like shorts, but not like, it. like I feel like shorts are super summery, but wearing a skirt kind of like shorts, they're just like kind of fall-esque looking. So like the skirts that I got, and this haul, the Princess Polly haul, I really, really like. And I think they give a more fall vibe, but at the same time, I'm not like uncomfortable wearing them. And then when you pair them with like sneakers or combat boots, it gives it kind of like a more grunge look. Um, but also with a little twist of like preppiness. I, do, I don't know, I just really like that. And like wearing a nice sweater over a skirt is just really cozy. What is your favorite song to listen to this season? So I actually just posted a video of my fall playlist that I've been listening to. There's a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff there. There's like vibey music, there's kind of creepy, more Halloween style music. But the playlist that I made, it goes from like really soft indie style music to like more vibey, flowy music to kind of creepy Halloween music. And then again, to like more slower, but also kind of hip hop style rock music and it kind of just like slows down so it kind of picks your pace up as you go and then it'll like die down if you listen to it in order but um you guys can check that out i'll leave it linked on the screen if you guys are interested in that those are my favorite songs this season what's your favorite halloween movie harry potter by far harry potter the second one is my favorite i feel like the first one is really fun it reminds me of like my childhood but the second one is just like where all of the personalities kind of flourish i feel like the actors really get into their personalities and they all make a character for themselves and it's so funny i i love the first and second one so definitely harry potter what is your favorite food found this season something recently that i've been getting into is pumpkin i've never been a pumpkin girl i'm not into pumpkin spice lattes but they have this pumpkin it's like iced coffee brew pumpkin cream or something like that from starbucks and i just put one pump of the vanilla that they put in so i don't like it too sweet but it gives it a very subtle pumpkin flavor and then i went to trader joe's the other day and they sampled the pumpkin pie and again i've never been like one to like pumpkin pie but i tasted it and i was like i really like this pumpkin pie so i think i'm starting to like pumpkin which is really weird i think like your taste buds change once every 10 years or something i think Mine are changing to like pumpkin, which is really weird because I've always never really liked pumpkin. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Reese's? Is that even a question? Noah thinks we are so weird, by the way, because he's like peanut butter and chocolate. I guess in Europe, they don't like eat a lot of peanut butter. I'm like, you are missing out. But he'll taste it and he's like, what is this? I'm like, are you serious right now? So number eight is, would you rather carve or paint pumpkins? Absolutely, hands down, carve. You get the seeds afterward, you can make them glow, like definitely carve. Who paints pumpkins? I've never even heard of that before. What is your favorite thing to do this fall time? Having get togethers, like being with my family and making it cozy, like not just like going to hang out, like making it an event, like eating good food, drinking good wine, um, going out to restaurants and just like getting dressed up and just being with people is like my favorite thing to do But it has to have a theme. I don't like to just get together just to get together I had like a pumpkin carving party. My friend Lindsay had like a Halloween night We went out for Halloween and we had that time me and my friends do Friendsgiving It's just like really fun to like have a theme and like be like a grandma <laughs> Number 10 is what's your favorite fall scent? fall scent I'm not gonna do Christmas scents because we are not in Christmas yet. Anything with like pancake smelly like smells. Like I really like waking up in the morning and feeling like I like made this whole sweet breakfast and it just smells so cozy and good. Those are the fall tag questions this year. If you guys want to comment your answers, definitely do. I, that'd be so cool. My brother's probably gonna come over within the next few hours. Uh, Noah's making us a dinner and I'm gonna make pumpkin pie and then I have the challenge tonight with my friend Robin so I'm gonna like throw on a good movie bake some pie and make it super extra cozy in here I need I, I, it's like feeding my soul I'm in such a great mood today I'm in such a great mood and I think it has a lot to do with all these fall things going on
anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I actually just got back from my friend Robin's house. She came over and had some pumpkin pie with me and then we went to go watch the challenge. And I wasn't a fan of the challenge. It actually really annoyed me this episode. I'm actually kind of over it at this point, but that's for a different vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall vlog and you got like all the fall vibes from it. You felt super cozy and ready for the holiday season. I know I am. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in a future video.